Hi everybody, Jason Furman here again. Now this is lesson two in the right, left, 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 right, right sticking series. Now to have this simple three note sticking, the last lesson we had you play it as triplets and sixteenth notes in different variations. Now here we're going to explore it in the sixteenth note um, and as a fill. So we'll start uh, on just a one beat fill and working our way up to a full measure worth of a fill. So we're just going to come in on beat four with a groove, and the groove we're going to do here is a rock or funk type groove. These stickings are not relegated to any particular style. So we're just happening to picking rock or funk here. It could be an up-tempo swing. It could be a samba. You can apply the same exact patterns that I give you to those other styles. So now we're going to look at just beat four in a 4-4 four four measure. So this is a three note sticking, but we've got four sixteenth notes to cover. So what I'm going to show you first here is coming in on beat four, four E N, but we're going to have to add another note for a sticking. So we'll add another right hand, four E N A. Uh. Now to come back on a one to crash, you'll have to do it with your left. So four E N A uh, one. Same with your left hand lead, four E N A uh, one. That's a great little exercise alone just to go back and forth. So 40 and a one, 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 40 and a one. So practice that first, and then we'll apply it to a groove. Here we're going to do 120 BPM. Okay, so that is one beat, beat four. Now, we're going to go to the end of three. The end of three will give us an even six notes, since this is a three-note grouping. Four from beat four, four E and a, uh, and two starting on the end of three, and a. Uh. So, we've got three E and a, uh, four E and a, uh, one. And then left hand lead, three E and a, uh, four E and a, uh, one. Okay, now same thing, 120 BPM. Okay, now what we're going to do is we'll shift it over to beat three on the downbeat. There we're going to have two notes left over. Now the easiest way to do that would be three E and the four E and the, and then one. So we're just gonna alternate the sticking. So you've got three E and the four E and the, one. Same with your left hand lead. Three E and the four E and the, okay? So let's look at that. Okay, now let's apply it as a fill. Okay, that's two beats we're up to now. So we have those two left over. Right? So why don't we start now on the uh of two. So by starting on the uh, that's going to give us an even number. So you're going to have two E and uh is where you come in. Two E and the uh, three E and the uh, four E and the uh, one. That'll bring us right to the downbeat of one. So let's look at that again. Two E and the uh, three E and the uh, four E and the uh, one. And then left hand. Two E and the uh, three E and the uh, four E and the uh, Sorry, one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one. Okay, so, so one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one. One E and the two E and the so the end of one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one. One E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the one.
let's look at that as a fill. Okay, so now we're approaching having three beats. Now, if we start on the downbeat of two, we'll also have another even beat. Not that you can't select the ones in between, but we've seen how you can add other notes already. So we're going to look at now making this a three beat fill starting on two. So, so you've got two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Two E and a three E and a four E. Look at it as a fill. Okay, so now what we can look at is keeping it even. We're going to start on the E of one. So that's going to give us one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. And one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Now let's look at that as a fill. Okay, now by doing it on the downbeat, we can already see that we're going to have one note left over. So that's going to look just like our one beat fill, except we're going to take it for a whole measure. So you've got one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Right? So now let's look at it as a fill. Okay, so that takes us up to a full four beats. You can add or subtract Whatever you want to do, wherever you want to start it, it can be longer. But right now, let's just look at practicing that as a 16th note in a rock funk feel. And starting one beat, two and a half beats, three beats, three beats plus a 16th notes, uh, all the way to a full measure. So practice these this week. Try them at different tempos. Take your time. Keep your balance. And next week, we'll explore them in the realm of triplets using a shuffle.